Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about gene mapping in detail. Gene mapping is a procedure which is used to identify the locus of the gene and also the distance between the gene. Locus of the gene is nothing but the position of the gene. For example, if you take a chromosome and normally uh, there will be a pair of chromosomes where we all of us know that. And if you take one of the chromosomes, normally it consists of genes, right? And we can, ex we can exactly find the location of the genes by using this gene mapping method and we can also find the distance which is present between the genes in the same chromosome itself. So how let us see now. So based on this property, this gene mapping can be classified into two types. So the gene mapping will be of two types, linkage mapping and the physical mapping. So these are the two types of mapping uh, which is mainly used to determine the locus of the gene and also the distance between the gene. But highly used, highly used procedure is physical mapping rather than the linkage mapping. Why let us see now. So, by using linkage mapping, we can determine the location of the gene corresponding to other gene. But exact location cannot be determined. So what do you mean by this sentence? Let us see enough. So normally these are the chromosomes, right? So if you normally pair of chromosomes will be present and if you take one of the chromosome. So if you consider two genes and before to, before uh, knowing about this procedure, firstly you have to know about the structure of the chromosome. I think you people may know that and see normally this is the structure of the chromosome where this is called as upper arm and this will be your lower arm and upper arm will be short and lower arm will be long and the upper arm will be represented as capital P and smaller arm uh, sorry the lower arm which is long will be represented as small q. So this will be about the structure of the chromosome and here this is called as a centromere region and this will be your telomere region. Okay. So let us consider two genes G1 and G2 where G1 is present in the upper arm and G2 is present in the lower arm. Right. So there is a distance which is present between the both of the genes is too long. Far distance is present between the both of the genes. Right. So if you see in the second case, let us consider G1 and G2 genes which are present on the same arm. That's nothing but the upper arm right so the distance which is present between both of the genes is little bit less right it is not so far or else it is not so near it is like medium so now coming to the third case here the g1 and g2 genes are present on the same upper arm but they are near with each other when compared to this and when compared to this right so these are the three cases which you can consider and one of the most important thing which you have to remember is that listen to this sentence properly. By using linkage mapping, we can determine the probability of the genes whether they are whether they are near or distance. This is nothing but far with each other in a chromosome. So by using this linkage mapping, we can find whether the genes are present near or as far. But the exact location or as exact locus of the gene cannot be determined by this linkage mapping. Right. So here the distance is very low. Right. And this can be determined by the linkage mapping. And here the distance which is present is little bit less and that can be determined by the linkage mapping. And here the distance is too far and this can also be determined by the linkage mapping. But the exact location of the gene cannot be determined, but it can only determine the distance which is present between the gene. Right. Whether uh, the distance is low or else far. That can only be determined by this linkage mapping. So I hope you would understand the uh, you know the technique which is present in this linkage mapping right so that's only the reason we are going to use this linkage mapping in rare cases and highly we are going to use this physical mapping only because it gives accurate results and now let us see the mechanism which is present in the linkage mapping so normally you know that there will be a pair of chromosomes right you know there will be a pair of chromosomes wait a second yeah Normally there will be a pair of chromosomes, right? So these are the homologous chromosomes and this will be your upper arm and this will be your lower arm in the same way. This will be your upper arm and this will be your lower arm. And let us consider the genes which are present in the upper arm. That's nothing but the first chromosome, the capital A and capital B are the genes which are present in the left arm. See, sorry, the first, uh, first chromosome at the upper arm. And now coming to the second chromosome and in the upper arm itself there is also presence of two genes small a as well as a small b. So these are the genes which are present on the upper arm in both the chromosomes. Right. So now what will happen normally these are the homologous chromosomes. And now uh, I recommend you to watch my previous video about meiosis. So if you understand the concept of the meiosis then you can understand the crossing over which can occur. So here the crossing over occurs in this homologous chromosomes. Right. The homologous chromosomes will get crossed over. And what happens when these chromosomes will get crossed over? So what will happen is that the exchange of genes can occur. 
the exchange of genes can occur so that's nothing but the capital a gene will move towards the right chromosome whereas the small a gene will move towards the left chromosome because of this crossing over right that's what happened here the small a gene has been moved towards the left chromosome and the capital a gene has been moved towards the right chromosome so here if you see the color which i have mentioned here this is a green color and this is a blue color right so as the crossing over has been done the green color will move towards this uh, left chromosome which is blue in color and in the same way this blue color one is indicated at the right chromosome such that the crossing over has been done so the blue color one will move towards the right one which indicates the exchange of the genes right so this is called as a recombinant chromosome which consists of exchanged genes right so this process can occur only when the chromosome so only when the genes which are present in the chromosomes are far away with each other so if you see here the distance which is present between the both of the genes are far right so hence this crossing over can occur the probability of this crossing over is high there are high chances of crossing over which can occur once the distance which is present between the both of the genes are more so let us see another case if the genes are very uh, you know they are not more distance i mean if they are near with each other then what will happen let us see now so again if you take here there are two pairs of chromosome and this will be your upper arm and this will be your lower arm and the same indicates here and here also right and in the upper arm the a gene as well as the b gene is present which is present at the upper arm itself right but they are near with each other and in the same way here also the small a and small b genes are present but they are near with each other at the upper arm itself right so now what will happen as in the previous case we have discussed the genes which are present between far i mean the distance which is present between the both of the genes is far and more but here the distance which is present between the genes is less they are near with each other then what will happen that the crossing over the probability of crossing will be less there are less chances of crossing over even though crossing over occurs but the exchange of this exchange of genes doesn't occur properly how let us see now so here these are these are the genes which are present near with each other and once the crossing over occurs i mean once the meiosis process has been done then what will happen is that of course the g of course the chromosome will get exchanged but the genes will not get exchanged right the recombinant chromosome will be obtained but the exchange of the genes doesn't occur because if you see properly here the you know the exchange of the chromosome has been done at this region i mean here the genes are present somewhat lower to this chromosome but as the exchange of the genes genes has been done at this upper region only that region of the chromosome can be exchanged but the genes cannot be exchanged because they are present a little bit lower to this arms right so capital a and capital b are the genes which are present in the left side chromosome at the upper region it cannot be exchanged because the crossing has been done here the genes are present here i mean the crossing over has been done the genes are present here so the genes will be left over as it is but the crossing occurs only with the chromosomes where the genes will not get exchanged so by this you can understand that if the distance which is present between the genes is less then the crossing doesn't occur if the crossing again also occurs then the exchange of the genes doesn't occur but if you see in the previous case if the distance which is present between the genes is more like this if the distance which is present between the each of the gene is more then the crossing over occurs and in the similar way the exchange of the genes also occurs so both can be done so these are the two cases which can be explained in this linkage mapping so there will be no use of this linkage mapping to perform so the, uh, many of the researchers will not use this linkage mapping to identify the genes but physical mapping is highly used why the physical mapping will be used because it can give the accurate result it can give the correct position of the genes it can also give the exact distance which is present between the both of the genes right so that's only the reason we are we will consider the physical mapping in, may, in many more researches when compared to that of linkage mapping right so up to now what i have discussed is about the linkage mapping so in the next further videos let us discuss about physical mapping thank you